Okay, this is a tutorial to show you a specific technique I use in Illustrator when I need to ink and color quickly, which is really all the time. I really don't have 8 to 10 hours to spend on a drawing that should be done in 1 to 2. So I'm going to show you some techniques here that allow you to really crank out some good looking art in a short period of time. Now uh, we got a picture of the Hulk here. He's a uh, working tech support in India for semantic so he's naturally angry all the time I have him on a layer called sketch which I've locked down and set at a transparency of seven percent so we just barely see it and I'll be inking on top so I already have my brush picked out you can use whatever brush you want uh, you can find one on the web you can make your own whatever you like to choose now this is not a drawing tutorial. I'm not trying to show you how to draw the Hulk. I'm not showing you any particular ink methods. But what I am going to show you is how to get this artwork done quickly. Now if you'll notice the one thing I'm doing right now is I'm overshooting my line. See how I just like cut right through his cheek there? Don't worry about that. That's actually going to look really good when we're done. But right now we're just trying to get our lines down and overshooting them actually has a really cool effect once we clean it all up. So here he is. He's very angry, of course, because he's on the phone all day long with people that just really don't understand what's going on with their computer and why they're horrible, bloated. Uh, virus protection software is making their system come to a crawl all the time. So here we go, some eyebrows, nice looking eye here. Now normally I would probably use a circle tool to make my eye, um, but in this instance I'm just trying to get this done really. It's got some uh, age lines there. So there we go, some nice angry eyebrows. It's got a bulging forehead. And here's his other eye. There we go. Once again, I'm overshooting, just like this. And uh, you should be there. Now, the nose here is, is a little, it's not as thick of a line I would want, but that's okay. Now, of course, since he works tech support, he's got to look good. So his hair is always slicked back, and he showers every day, which, of course, makes him angrier. So he's, he's pretty much primed all day long for for smashing and getting upset. So let's put a little microphone here for his headset. There's the wire. I'm just going to leave that aligned. I really don't want to put any detail in it right now. There's his headset. And uh, let's do some teeth. Once again, you'll see I'm overshooting the line here right into the lip. It's totally okay. We're going to get rid of that. But what that does is it gives us a really clean line right at the bottom. Let's do some, he's got to have some neck muscles going here, of course. And uh, there's Adam's apple, there's his other neck. He's wearing uh, a nice shirt, of course. A bit of a tie. We're going to, we're just going to, get rid of some of this here. I mean, I'm going to fade out the drawing. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, there we go. And, uh, let's see. I want the nose to be a little bit bigger. That took about four minutes. So, I want the nose to be a little bit bigger. So, I'm going to go here and select some of these lines here. I'm just going to beef them up. There, I'm going to take them up to five. Five points. Same with the eyes. I want the eyes to be the strokes on the eyes to be a little beefier, and the teeth. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the teeth, and I want that nostril there to be a little thicker too. Let's take that up to seven. That's good. So that's kind of like my little technique because I like this brush a lot, but um, it also. Um, so here we go. Got our little drawing. It's all inked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the whole thing. And we're going to group it. And then we're going to make a copy. And we're going to set that copy off to the side. And the reason is 
um, this technique will destroy your original. It won't be an edible uh, brush stroke anymore. So go ahead and put that off to the side because you don't want to do anything to that. Come back over here. Now here we're going to select all this. So we're going to go over here and we're going to expand. Expand appearance. So there we go. Then we go. So now it's no longer an edible stroke. And we're going to go live paint. We're going to make. But we're not actually going to do anything. We're going to go back to object, live paint, and we're going to expand. Now, why did we just make it into live paint and then immediately take it out of live paint? Well, what live paint does when you do that, all these lines that crossed over each other now have created little, little cuts, which means we can easily go in and select those and boom, get rid of them. So that's how you clean up your artwork. It's real simple. So now that's why it doesn't matter if you overshoot these lines here because we can just get rid of them. And you go through and you get rid of all your strokes. And uh, you know if you can select them like this, it's awesome. You get a bunch at one time. Go through. See how much cleaner that mouth is looking now? It's great. So that's that's the secret number one is using using the um, live paint to get rid of your stray lines. Um, there we go. See like this one right here crosses right. Uh, which which tooth I want in front? I think I want to have this one be in front. So boom, and it's gone. So we'll go through and you go through the whole drawing. You just kind of you just do that. There we go. I'm not going to get them all because I actually want to get this, you know, over with at some point. So, so you can move on and go practice this. So I'm just going to get really mainly the obvious ones. I'm not going to go chase every little every little line over here. So let's look at his face. Like here's some obvious ones. You definitely don't want these hanging around the tops of his eyes. So we'll go ahead and get those. We can leave some of the others though. There's a little tiny one there. Another tiny one there. There's one on his cheek. Doesn't look so good. Get rid of that. You can keep some of the slop around the eye. It's okay. And then the top of this eye, too. That doesn't look so good. And double eyebrow. Don't need that. So let's, let's back up here and see what we have left. A uh, few here. That one's just unacceptable. That one's too big. So I'll get rid of that. The ear coming through, that's just not acceptable either. And mouth looks good. Let's come down here to the shirt. Yeah, it's a few too many lines there. Don't really need all those. And there's, you notice there's a big gap over there. I'm not really worried about it. I'll, I'll take care of that later. Inside of his microphone obviously has to go. There we go. So we've got our cleaned up drawing. So there's the, uh, we can see right over here the the one with the ones where we had the lines all a nice cleaned up version great okay now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back to live paint this time we're gonna object live paint and make this time we're actually gonna start painting now I have some colors picked out that would be good for Hulk so uh, I'm gonna start off with just uh, his uh, basic green. I'm just going to cover his whole face with that and using the paint, this paint bucket tool. If you notice, it highlights everything that um, is paintable. Uh, I'll go ahead and get his hair. I have a color picked out for his hair. Boom, boom, boom. We notice his head is his skin bled into his hair a little bit. That's okay. We'll take care of that later. You really don't even have to worry about the colors too much. At this point, you're just trying to to block in some decent color. So don't don't sweat it too much if it's not perfect. Uh, we'll give him some red here in the mouth. 
We'll go ahead and just use white for the teeth. Um, once again, the exact color doesn't really matter because we're going to, you can easily change that later. It's no big deal. Um, let's get in tighter here. And let's look at that face. What needs to be done? Let's give him some more green around here. Boom, boom. Let's make his eyebrows. Let's use the, the hair for eyebrow there, there, there. Just a little bit of hair, stray hair. Uh, oh, uh, let's give him this color for the eyes. Once again, we can change it later. I, I don't really care. Uh, let's give him some black here. There we go. And uh, let's give him one more spot of green here. And we'll finish off with some white. And the reason is it really doesn't matter right now. What I'm just trying to do is make sure everything that should have color in it does. Because I can always fix it. Like, like there's a little piece of his forehead there. That's no big deal. I don't care about that. I just need to have some color to work with. So, and let's drop some into his microphone. All right. I'm going to leave his shirt just the way it is. I'm not going to really play around with that today. So here we go. There's the Hulk. Arr! And he's all colored. And so we're going to select them all again. And we're going to go object. We're going to go life paint. I mean, uh, life paint. And then we're going to expand. So it's no longer a life paint object. Just regular flat, which allows us to do stuff like this. So you take the direct selection tool. And we're going to go ahead and one, we're going to fix that hair chunk right there, but we're going to give in some basic block shadows in here. I'm going to start slicing up his face. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. So there we go. I went and blocked that, which allows me to come back in and select that chunk there. That's going to be darker. So there we go. Now, uh, he should also have some highlights in here. So here's some reflective light. I'm going to give him a little bit of reflective light. Comes through here. As long as you take the the, the knife tool to some kind of conclusion, it has to uh, jump out of the color and into the black, and you're good. There's a little color reflect for reflective color. There. Now he's got a lot, a lot of depth with almost no effort. We'll take his neck. We'll do the same thing. Come through here. Give him first the big shadow for his bottom. Just go ahead and sample that. Don't even have to go back to our palette. Let's do a little bit of a of reflective light there. Once again, you can select it and go ahead and use the eyedropper tool to select that over there. Go through, looking good. Let's uh, give him some darkness over here. I'm going to come through like this. Kind of slice this up like so. And uh, slice this here. That will be a good place for some color. Let's do his forehead here. This will be a highlight that I will come back to later. I'm kind of planning out ahead as I go along. So, you know, what colors I'm going to ch chunk up here. So there's, uh, take that one. This will be a nice highlight color here. There's another highlight. So the light's coming in and hitting him on the side. Great. So, and then we'll go in here. We'll give him a little bit of darkness. Darkness. And darkness. Uh, yeah, we'll make that dark too. Um, so, there we go. That, that's a pretty simple Hulk right there. So, you can see you can get a tremendous amount of uh, wow factor with very little effort. Go in, let's do his ear. Figure most of it's going to be dark. I'm going to go ahead and make that dark in there. And uh, yeah, I won't give him any highlight there. And let's darken up this ear. And there we go. And uh, so let's get his middle of his ear dark. And uh, so there we go. There's a very simple picture of the Hulk. And that was uh, just under 15 minutes total for inking and coloring. And you can continue on and just add certain things. You can do gradients. This this doesn't have to be a solid color. You can take any of this and add gradients. You can add additional colors later. Uh, you want a highlight on his on his pupils. Just uh, put a little circle there. 
There you go. One and boom. There we go. Give a little life to his eye. And there you go. 15 minutes. Uh, you know, if I want to complete this and be a little picky about it, probably be done in a half hour. And then there you go, and you save it. Now you can always come back to this and drop in and drop out color, and, and you're good. So thank you.